What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Uh, this morning, Sidney Crosby sat down with ESPN's Britt McHenry to talk, uh, you know, Stanley Cup playoffs and being the underdog and all that happy horse shit. And then a few hours later, a video of McHenry went viral berating a, a tow truck employee. First of all, uh, let's. I'm going to talk about this because I think it's necessary. You know, whatever. Hate me if you want to. Um, tow truck employees are, are the lowest of the low. I mean, especially in Boston where their contract is ridiculous. They make more money than the city does off the tow jobs. It's awful. And I just saw two cars get towed off my street today. Literally this morning. So, I'm coming in hot-headed. But, you know... To talk down to someone like that is ridiculous, and it gives women in sports media a bad name, and, you know, there are a lot of good ones. You know, Katie Nolan, friend of the show, is, is awesome. Molly McGrath, her co-worker at, at Fox Sports 1, is um, is great. And, you know, McHenry set them back a long ways with this, and I always had an issue with female sideline reporters. Not that they didn't, you know, some of them do a good job, but Heidi Watney, when she was working for the Red Sox, was the biggest, most stuck-up to you next Tuesday of all time. When I was in college, I, I valeted cars, and um, I valeted her car, and she didn't tip me. <laughs> it was like, you know, and then a couple months later, back in school in Florida, I saw her at a Red Sox uh, raising game in Tropicana Field, and um, you, you would have thought I was, like, you know, the worst of the worst at calling her out for it. Now, was I drinking beers with my buddies? And, hey, I didn't tip you, valet. Yeah, but, you know, the bottom line is... So, uh, you know, these women don't do what they can to erase that negative stereotype that they were hired for their looks. And, you know, you know, Brighton want a college degree in the 21st century. Like, yeah, Brett, everyone has one. I work in a bar and I have one. So, you know, it's just, you, you got to be better than people. You know, and at the power play with CJ, everyone gets treated with respect. And the other thing is, like, you have, everyone has minutes, you know, has moments where they break down. Like, really? You know, a couple weeks ago I was waiting for a steak and cheese and I screwed up my order and I was like, what the f***, really? But that lasted about 30 seconds and my order was corrected and I went home happy. You know, she, she went too far. And, you know, that's not a good look for ESPN. I, I'm i not saying, you know, I'd never call for anyone's job, but it's not my style. But she should, you know, have to set it out and, you know, take a suspension and, you know, take, um take responsibility for her actions, you know, she's a stoolie, so it's, it's tough to go at her, but, you know, there are a lot of people trying to make it in that industry, and for her to disregard, you know, her position is, is ridiculous, I mean, you got a guy right here that paid his own way to Sweden to cover women's hockey, when the other people over there were getting paid to do what I paid to do, how's that for a tongue twister, um, so, I mean, you, you got people like me that are hungry for it, and, you know, she's just like, whatever, F you, parking lot employee. Which, again, I'm not saying, if she just said you people are absolute low lowlifes, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right. But, you know, the person that go out that woman was wrong, and I hope ESPN handles it swiftly. Not a full-on hockey piece, but given the fact she talked to Sidney Crosby this morning, which I think is funny. You know, she has this going around, she's talking to Sidney Crosby, I gotta beg players. I mean, not the, the players come on, it's getting the team to sign off on it, that's always what I'm paying. But, let's see what happens. Anyway, that's like sort of the power play with CJ and me talking about Britt McHenry's breakdown, sticking with episodes throughout the season, throughout the playoffs, and beyond. Later, guys.